I want you to try and experiment with me. This is really important because for some reason or another, most of us, when we get to our around about our 10th birthday, start breathing inside out. So I want you to do a quick experiment and see if you are one of the people who does breathe inside out or if you've actually changed your habits and you breathe naturally. A little clue, if you do yoga or Pilates or if you've done singing training, you might be breathing properly. If not, let's give it a go and see. What I want you to do is to put your hands over your stomach, just fingertips no more than touching, just a couple of centimeters above your belly button. And I want you to breathe in as big a breath as you can and think about three things. Think about where your shoulders are going, think about where your stomach's going, and think about what muscles you're using to draw air in. If you've got enough room for it, maybe think about also what noise your breathing makes as you breathe in. So take a huge breath, hold it for a second, and breathe out. Now, think about it. Did your shoulders go up, or did they stay down? Did your stomach go in when you breathed in, or did it go out when you breathed in? And the last thing, which muscles did you use? Which part of your body did you use to draw air into your lungs? And if you've got time, think about what sound it made. When we are asleep, or if, if when we're babies, before the age of 10, whatever, what happens when we breathe in is our stomach goes out. The diaphragm drops, the muscles tense, the diaphragm drops, creates a vacuum, the lungs fill, the stomach goes out because the lungs are getting bigger. The shoulders stay down. If your shoulders go up and your stomach goes in, what you're doing is you're creating a smaller space for your lungs to expand into, so you're taking a smaller breath, which means that your heart has to work harder, which means you're probably gonna not live so long, which is a bad thing, right? So what I'd like you to think about is keeping your shoulders down, breathing so that your stomach goes out rather than in when you breathe in, and in rather than out when you breathe out. Try this experiment. Think about a Guinness glass, a nice beer glass in your chest, and breathe and as you breathe imagine that glass filling up now I don't know about you I've tried all over the world in every possible latitude when you fill a glass it fills from the bottom to the top always and every time I've done that I've also experimented by emptying it and it always empties from the top to the bottom so try that just imagine that Guinness glass and fill it up as you take a deep breath hold it at the top let it settle for a second and then empty it by breathing out and it empties from the top to the bottom, it fills from the bottom. Do it three or four times. Try it. Try it now. Don't do it three or more than three or four because if you're not used to all that oxygen, it's going to knock you out. And then if that interests you, if that excites you, if you think, oh my God, I'm properly breathing for the first time ever and it's nice and quiet, doesn't make a lot of noise, then you're on the path to proper breathing and slower heart rate and a healthy life. Good luck.